Well, hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi walking you back to Let's Play Super Mario World, the secret of the seven golden statues. So today we are going to go ahead and enter into the castle of a hammer brother. What would you find here? Um, well, okay, great. And that piranha plant is going to plop right out of that pipe right away, so I am definitely not safe. Okay, uh, these fire bars are definitely not our tradition additional fire bars that we typically see in hacks. They're kind of the big fire fireballs. Also, you jump to avoid dying. Please die because, you know, I'm small and being small, I'm like puny and tiny and... Oh gosh, these guys will ground pound. Uh, I better wait for a ground pound. There's the ground pound. And there we go. Knocked him right... No, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! don't that was a close one. That was actually really, really close, all things considered. So, and so yeah, we just, uh, we'll just go ahead and take the number of platforms and just um, enjoy that we made it. And I'm going to assume that there's nothing below this. If there is, it would be another star. Now, question. Hmm. This chain chomp. He looks really egg. Uh, anger. He looks angry, but he also looks really eager to break this chain. And also, I got out of his range. Excellent. So he's not going to be too much of a threat. It's not something I'm going to test now, but how faithful is that uh, chain chomp representation? Because a fun fact about the chain chomp from Super Mario Bros. 3. What was it, 89? You have to basically let the chain chomp try to get out of his chain like a ridiculous number of times, and he will actually get set free. It's uh, it's pretty crazy, all things considered. Oh my, look at these nuclear, what is that, derf? Oh, that's a mine. Holy cow. Okay. So, like, I need a star to climb up to there. That's actually probably where the level star is. Oh, good point. Good point. Now, can I spin jump on them? Well, okay, before I try spin jumping on them, I'm going to guess our midway point is pretty close because it just intrinsically, yes. So I can hit my midway point. I can actually die. Just take the death. And then I'm going to try to spin jump on the uh, the duff cans here and see if uh, that'll end up letting me climb that. Because I was interested. It's like I run to the block and there's an immediate explosion. But that just immediately tells me there's something up here. Like, look at this. This is just set up perfectly. to need something to be up. Oh. <laughs> I need a star. Actually, because I have the midway point. Um do this i can use a star in my inventory because i now know how the inventory works so i'm definitely save stating before i get into here so make sure i use the right item here so here we go over to oh for fuck's sakes wrong button and well i guess luigi will have a fun oh, for fuck back to luigi okay and enter the level oh you're No! 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 <laughs> I finally found the button to enter the stupid level! There! Okay. Alright. So, save state. L, L, L. There we go. So, actually, we don't have too many stars in our inventory, but this one will definitely be. Useful is now Luigi is not flickering. I'm like, I'll star Yang Louie, and let's see if we can take the Duff Can um, Express up here. So definitely save state before we're entering here, because we want to make the most out of this star, as immediately we are invulnerable, invincible, whatever you want to say. I'm not getting into this discussion now. Oh, that's not how this works? Great. Well, maybe I can side flip jump and then wall jump. Aha! Ha 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 ha! I cheated it out. <laughs> Good thing I got my advanced techniques at least somewhat down. I'll take it. I don't know how those duff cans are supposed to be used otherwise. Are you supposed to freeze them? Actually, that probably answered my question right there. You are probably supposed to freeze them. Yeah, so anyway, we're, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of Luigi's horizontal fireball capabilities here. Because, once again, I just have to line up my shot. Bam! Dead. I don't have to worry about trajectories or parabolas or anything like that. I just shoot. Done. Dead. Dead. Simple. Whoa! Spinning logs. I could have been really dead simple there. <laughs> I better watch myself here. So, uh, there we go. Go ahead and knock that hammer brother out. And let's see here. We could swap here. What I'll do here first, instant switch. And then switch here so I still have the hammer brother suit because the hammer brother suit, I am definitely not losing that. But unfortunately, now I have the arc that I was talking about earlier. But at least now I can freeze everything which will include our fire snake and I hate fire snakes so I will just uh I will just politely uh kill him 
<laughs> I don't think there's really a way to politely kill somebody. Like, even if you're a professional assassin, like, you don't walk up to the, the person who you're gonna murder and be like, Hello, good sir. I'm going to murder you. Have a good day. Slice or something like that. Well, maybe you do, but that's usually not how murders are carried out. Usually your goal is to just get the murder taken care of and get the fudge out of there so that there's no evidence that you did the murder. Uh, don't listen to Miles Ludi for murder advice. Just play Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> don't actually murder. Okay. Uh, I tried to do this little spin jump trick there and unfortunately it did not work. Unless you're Mario or Luigi. If you're Mario or Luigi then like go out on adventures because you uh... Well Mario and Luigi I couldn't exactly say they have a license to kill but they definitely have something there they can get away with all this i mean if you're somebody who's on bowser's army and like mario and luigi have killed lots of your troops and you know, they aren't being prosecuted for any war crime war crimes at all presumably because the uh, you know they, they, they work for the mushroom kingdom effectively they're seen as heroes in the mushroom kingdom they're not going to prosecute any of those war crimes because, well, they're not war crimes. It's like, they're defending the Mushroom Kingdom, and they are doing their civil duty, even though they have knocked out how many? <laughs> how many people? Or creatures, I should say. Also, Super Mario World's theme. Oh, hey, look at that. We have gone out of the castle in the Donut Plains. I can't believe I'm saying that now. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I totally approve of these updated cutscenes. Holy cow. So Luigi's going to walk into the castle with a TNT. And there we go. Mario and Luigi have defeated Hamilton, the big hammer bro, and recovered the first golden statue. They now move on, they now move on to the mountains. By the way, I totally, totally approve of this. The only part that's missing here is actually seeing the castle tumble down. That would have just made this complete if the castle actually tumbled down, but I might be asking for a bit too much there. Actually getting that entire scene put together. Um, like, I, I know it's Super Mario World, you can make cutscenes and stuff like that, and it would definitely require a lot of graphics to actually pull off, but it would have been really cool to see the castle, like, explode. Uh, we're gonna enter into the mystery tube after a short break. There we go. Well, let's type primarily played as Mario last time. We're gonna continue on with Luigi, Luigi Hype Train. So now we have the Toad's minigame hut there for our easy access and also another rest area. So at the bright side, even though I just stepped on the rest area, now we swapped back to Mario. I might as well get Mario to the rest area. Like that's the game automatically just swap the brothers whenever you just step on the rest area. I think that is the case. I do like that I'm not gonna have to run all the way back to the rest area, so it's not like I'm gonna be in a situation where in order to uh, rest area, I need to run all the way back. It, it'd be like a top secret area, kind of conundrum. But the Blue Hill Bridge implying that the hill is blue a cool color a color of defense actually i think it's referring to the blue mountains the donut plain mountains that are in the background at the moment and i am digging the yoshi's island music this actually sounds like a perfect rendition as long as we don't run into the stupid like jump sound glitch i'll be really happy also i know better and i know those things there i should not anger at all <laughs> <laughs> the butterflies of doom, as I guess we we'll just call them there. They're a pain in the butt in Yoshi's Island, but manageable. In Super Mario World, they will destroy you really badly. Six. This platform has six seconds. Oh gosh. Okay. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a platform that actually did that more than uh, one or four. So now my immediate question comes, is that just a hex edit? Can, can I make a platform that has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? more theoretically also I, I i think i can angle the uh, butt jumps here yes i can oh cool so i can start it there and then ram forward and then like immediately start moving also i have gotten this thing and i'll use it to break into this thing and that warranted me a piece which also there is the bubble cloud up here question mark and that's gonna make me a bridge okay also luigi is stuck here while that is playing okay so we're gonna use this piece switch here to uh well, do we want to just hit it right where we got it, or do we want to save it for something? I'm currently leaning more towards the save it for something. And if I end up wrong and I play, replay the level, I will hit it right there. Though this area kind of seems suspicious. It's our midway point, actually. I will continue to just bring this P-Switch with me. It's going to become my lifelong buddy here. I'm just going to be like, yes, look at me. It's my P-Switch. It's, it's Luigi's friend. <laughs> Oh, Luigi is usually just like described as like the secondling, the underdog, and uh, the, the, when he befriends a P-Switch, it's like, oh, 
N no, what happens when you have to go through another mansion, Luigi? Are you going to bring the P-Switch with you? Along with the poltergeist? N now I'm just imagining a world where Luigi just has a ton of imaginary friends, and how it's how he gets through things now that he's always in his brother's, like, shadow. No, not always, you know, he's been en enjoying adventures as of late. <laughs> but still, like, he, he gets all on with a whole bunch of imaginary things. Like, you've got friends, Luigi. <laughs> You don't have to be hanging around with the P-Switch 24 hours a day, okay? And it's kind of creepy, because you hang around with the P-Switch for 24 hours a day, and then people start to question about things. Things that you probably don't want them to be questioning about. <sighs> Alright, so Luigi is going to uh, ram ran into the spiky thing, and I better try to drop the power, because I've now gotten really far into this level. Ooh, enter into the pipe with the P-switch. The P-switch should carry through, unless there's a special type of pipe that deletes it. Nope, it carried through. Ooh, are you going to stop me? You are rewarded for flying wigglers are easy to... That's the name of the enemy. Are easy to avoid when mad. Just stand still and dodge. Oh, they totally go into an orbit. That's right. Oh, gosh. I, I kind of wish there was one in here in this area to test. Okay. All the way here with the P-switch and... <gasps> no! I had to have hit it there. That's really sad, actually. Ten. <laughs> I, I went through all the effort to get the P-switch there. And do, do, do I manage to, like, collect four letters? Magical lover just get me a one-up for doing that? Or possibly get the star on level? Because I'd missed the star on that level. No. I instead learned that I'm going to have to go to the level again. And probably hit the P-switch exactly there to get my star. So... Ah, be back in a con. Actually, wait, no. I'm hitting the P-switch right away here. A pipe appeared? A pipe! A pipe! A pipe, everyone! A P-switch has made a pipe appear. I have never, ever, ever seen that done, actually. Just, a pipe appears when you press the P-switch. Okie dokie, Loki. Well, I, I I think I need to check mark that off my bucket list here. See a P-switch cause a pipe to materialize. The almighty power of a P-switch. I haven't rattled on about the P-switch lobby in a really long time, such that some people who I've haven't mentioned that before might even be confused at the more than the hell I'm talking about. Why don't I explain as I enter into the next level? It's an old joke. Um, but the idea is there's lots and lots and lots and lots of peace, which is not just Super Mario World, but all the Mario World romp hacks, and well, somebody has to make those peace switches, and the thing is they just kind of leave them all in the open just to be used, and they destroy, they destroy matter, they create matter, they are really powerful things. And the thing is, like, you also look at them, they're giant switches! By no means! Like, if you could imagine a switch to, like, the lights in your home, okay? They don't need to be, um, <laughs> half the size of your body. Also, I really want to see one of these get into orbit with me. Okay, I need to... Okay, that is not an orbit. That is not an orbit. This thing's gonna come raging down, isn't it? Uh, uh, what, raging? No, he, he, he actually went off into orbit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, because that was kind of entertaining. Okay, po point being, your light switch at home it is not the size of, like, an eight-year-old child, okay? It is uh, it is kind of the size that you can flick it with a wrist. Also, this buzzsaw is trying to murder me. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, it, it's the size of a switch. If you could just imagine, if every day you had to turn on and off the lights, you had to jump on a giant-ass switch first, y your childhood instincts are probably kicking in and be like, that'd be really fun, and I really want to get you in orbit get you in orbit and oh oh he just flies away if he gets up oh that's interesting okay duly noted huh okay <laughs> all right so anyway yeah if you could just imagine if all those switches in your life were that big okay the switch to turn on your computer that big heck your phone is no longer really a mobile device anymore because it's plagued by these gigantic switches that are connected to it and like your alarm clock has a giant switch that you have to jump on that actually would be a really good idea i would wake up if i had that if i had an alarm clock that for me to wake up with i would have to basically just press this giant switch that i have to put my entire body on it'd probably wake me up i would have to kind of be kind of concerned that i would actually fall asleep on the switch itself 
myself though that would be a concern <laughs> i wake up from my bed but then i fall asleep on the switch <laughs> that would be kind of embarrassing also i have gone from power up to all power ups already annihilated and down into the hole with the with the death i i have flattered the uh the whole gods of doom and gloom and despair but like everything would be so impractical if switches were all entirely that size like think about how many switches exist in your day that there's your microwave has multiple buttons on them and each of them are a switch so to cook something in the microwave you practically need an your own room for it or heck the computer itself that i mentioned before every single keyboard key a giant button y y good good luck typing your essay for your graduate school class because now the p-switch lobby mandates that all buttons are this big see that's the that's the running joke there actually is that the only way you could justify that this kind of world exists and there's so many gigantic buttons that somewhere some way the the mushroom kingdom and possibly its neighboring countries somehow some way some galactic universal of uh, mega like power has commanded thee that all switches need to be gigantic in size like that also you can ground pound in them and not take damage that's interesting and consequently all switches must be huge and gigantic for someone's better interest because you know those switches aren't very expensive but it is illegal to make smaller switches or switches that are smaller and more way more convenient to use you know <laughs> so there must be a lobby that profits greatly like they have an industry giant switch incorporated and they profit greatly because everyone is forced to use their giant switches because some law mandates that otherwise um it's not allowed also i'm gonna have to yeah there we go so i think i figured out where the star likely is ground pound all those blocks over here take a spring jump up to here yes sir I am a winner. Got myself a Yoshi coin, a star coin, and any other type of coin that I'm going to get? Not so fast. I, I mean, continuing the discussion even further, actually, you could say the coins in the Mushroom Kingdom are relatively huge, but then again, you see Luigi just pick them up and they just kind of disappear into nothing. The same thing with Mario, which leads me to believe, actually, that the coins themselves, we might be just seeing the world through Mario and Luigi's augmented reality. Um, they, they have implants that actually show them things as they kind of are, and in this augmented reality the, the they see the coins there as kind of an incentive to jump there even though there's actually nothing literally there but as an incentive to this game that they're playing they actually earn money real life money by collecting the fake augmented reality coins C could you imagine this in real life y you're driving to work but now all of a sudden you see coins everywhere it's entirely augmented reality you know, you know your eyes were implanted or you have google glasses on or something like that and if you actually like like just for the sake of real life well, let's just say now you see 20 dollar bills just floating in midair kind of as giant 20 dollar bills you run into one you actually literally in real life you just got 20 dollars in your bank account that would be interesting it would also cause you to do some really weird things like all of a sudden if like you're, you're driving and like oh look there's a line of 20 dollar bills over there now you're gonna pull over into your car run on over jump for those 20 dollar bills and oh look you just fell into a trap <laughs> you just fell into a bottomless pit and died that would be i i i think i have just shown everyone the potential um interesting and potentially ramifications of uh, augmented reality the thing is i'm pretty confident in real life augmented reality you're not going to just get 20 dollar bills from giant 20 dollar floating bills in midair though you have to wonder just under this argument that i'm making how much of mario and luigi's life are is just simply augmented reality because reality reality states that floating blocks are definitely floating blocks they are solid objects mario and luigi can stand on them but coins in midair they don't affect mario and luigi at all and their coin count goes up so those could be augmented reality i want a discussion in the comment section below what in mario and luigi's life is augmented reality and what is not i've started the question here Qu question mark blocks mario and luigi can physically stand on they can't be coins they can be what else answer it for me in the comment section everyone this has been miles luigi see you next time <laughs>